Good morning. It is Thursday morning. Uh, got a few things to talk about this morning. First of all, someone, a couple people yesterday, you haven't made a video in a couple days, and as I told you, I'm not going to make a video if I've got nothing to talk about, just to talk. But, so last night at the gym, one of my buddies, he's like, hey, I'm not one of the guys that uh, only watches party or videos or, or only watches clips or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. And he says, uh, but, so I started getting up at four o'clock in the morning and going outside and walking and uh, it's pitch black. There's no sun, it's dark. You know, then I Google and figure out what time the sun comes up. It doesn't come up until like 7.30. And I was like, listen, you are one of the guys who only listen to clips. He goes, no, I listen to all of it. I said, okay, well, in one of them, I said, I wake up at four o'clock in the morning, not on purpose. I wake up at four, 4.30, Sometimes five if I'm lucky, uh, no alarm, right? I don't go outside yet. I go turn the sauna on, you know, I stretch. Uh, some mornings I work, do my workout then so I can get it out of the way. Uh, and then I'll make my breakfast at like six o'clock and then I'll go outside and walk in the dark until the sun comes up. And, and actually like, this is what I mean by the sun comes right? I mean, it's light out. The sun typically doesn't even come up while I'm out here uh, where I can see it. Some mornings it does if I'm a little bit later, but now that uh, we've got so much going on, it doesn't really happen. So I don't go outside until six in the morning. And uh, another thing I was going to talk about for people uh, that do that, I walk when I'm not on the trail, I'm walking through the neighborhood. I walk literally down the middle of the street <clears throat> and that's just something because of how I grew up, situational awareness, right? If I'm walking on a sidewalk and someone wants to attack me or a dog or anything, I'm a lot closer to one side than the other. If I'm walking down the middle, I'm a lot safer because I can see both sides and have the opportunity to move. It's just like pulling up at a stop sign and stopping with at least a car's length between you and the guy in front of you. In case something comes up from the side, you can go left or right and not be trapped. That's just a, it's like sitting with your back to the wall uh, in a restaurant. Anyway, uh, that was from my buddy. I, I definitely don't come outside until it's like six. That way, you know, I'll walk. I'm walking about three miles now. So I'll walk until I can, until the sun's up, until it's at least light. Um, second thing, uh, just now I was watching a Gary Vee video and he's talking about discipline. And man, you know, uh, everyone talks about discipline and I love him and, and, uh, I agree with discipline, but not ev that's why I talked about, uh, habits being a cheat code. Discipline's difficult. Like I had discipline throughout my career. Um, I feel like I don't have discipline now because I don't have as much, uh, to, I'm not working for as much, you know, besides health. So that's where for me, I feel like the habit thing is the cheat code to discipline because for example, yesterday morning, and I talked about, I talked about a lot of people, right? I talked about, um, uh, what's his name? David Goggins talks about his bitch voice yesterday morning. Uh, Tim's back. Lucas had to go help his mom early. So he didn't, uh, he didn't get to cold plunge and Right away, I'm like, huh, Luke's not cold plunging. I probably probably don't have to today. And uh, that was me, you know, making an excuse. It had been cold the day before. We didn't get to do it because it was frozen over. And uh, I knew it was going to be cold. And so I was like, ah, I won't do it. So I get in the sauna because the sauna is way more comfortable than the ice barrel. And uh, Tim messaged me from upstairs. He says, hey, what time is the, uh, what time are we leaving the gym? And what time's the cold plunge? I don't want to miss anything. And I was like, oh, bro, the, I'm in the sauna for 25 minutes. Cold plunge is right after that. And there was my sign. Like, that was my bitch voice getting answered by a real voice saying, get your ass in the, in the cold plunge. So instantly in my mind, I was like, yeah, I got a cold plunge. And, you know, then I got out of the sauna after my time was up and went and did it. Made my day much better. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was, uh, one of those things where it was a sign, right? I needed a sign to tell me to get off my butt and, uh, get in the cold plunge and go do it. 
there was something else I want to talk about that I cannot remember at the moment, but, uh, just, just remember like building the habits, you know, if you can build the habits, it is much easier to do than discipline. If you think about, I've, I've told, talked about this before. If you think about how hard it is to break a habit, you know, uh, that's a, oh, there's ice all over the place here. If you think about how hard it is to break a habit, that's why you want to create habits instead of just trying to have the discipline every morning to do it. If you have a habit, you'll just do it. Habits are hard to stop, not hard to start, you know? So start doing something that you don't like to do a little bit and then uh, it'll just become habit and it'll be hard to not do. Sorry, it's freezing. It's 30 degrees out here this morning and uh, I got... I got hand warmers in my gloves and I'm walking on ice. It's sketchy. Um, yeah, I forget what the other thing was. I'll, I'll, I'll get it tomorrow morning uh, when I get on here. I hope you guys have a good day.